Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ding from Ding's Workshop. Today, I would like to share with you guys this longer LK5 Pro 3D printer. Now, I have never worked with a 3D printer before, so this is literally my first 3D printer. As a newbie to 3D printing, I had to figure out many things myself in order to get started. In this video, I'm going to cover the assembly of the longer LK5 Pro and also the software setup to start 3D printing. So if you are someone who wants to get into 3D printing but don't know where to start, this video and this printer are going to help you get started. Here's the box. It encountered some dents during transportation, but nothing inside were damaged. Now let's take a look at, at the inside. All components were very well packed with cushions. Longer pre-assembled as many parts as they could which minimized the amount of assembly required by the end user. Now be careful with this part. It has cables connected to another component. Don't accidentally yank it like I did. Luckily, nothing was damaged. The power cable is suitable for outlet style in the US, which is nice. All components are bagged well and easy to access. Assembly of this printer is not difficult at all. Although the words in the instruction manual were a bit small to read. You see there are two screws here, you only need to tighten the one on the right hand side. There are these two rods that add rigidity to the whole assembly. Before tightening down these two rods, make sure the vertical frame is at 90 degrees with a horizontal frame. You can adjust the length of the rods in order to achieve perfect 90 degrees. This is the Z-axis limit switch, and unfortunately, my camera went out of focus. Here comes the control screen. All cables are labeled with a tab, which makes it very easy to know where they should be plugged into. The control panel cable goes on the back of the control panel. This is the connector for the heat pad. There is also a strain relief for the heat pad cable.
Before you plug in power, make sure to set the transformer input voltage. If you are in the US, set this to 115. Then we can turn on the power. The software takes a very short time to boot. Peel off the protective film on the print surface and we are going to adjust the leveling of the print surface. Tap leveling on the control panel. There are 5 positions of adjustments. The nozzle will move to each position. I used a piece of paper to make sure the nozzle is at the right height relative to the print surface at all 5 spots. This step is extremely important, so take as much time as needed. Now let's add the filament. We want to make sure there is no air or empty area inside the print nozzle. On the control panel, first go to filament, then tap load. The print head will start to heat up and the feeder motor will start turning. Initially, there will be nothing coming out. Just be patient, eventually stuff will come out. Once material began to come out, just press OK on the control panel to stop the feed. And now we can move on to setting up the software. Longer actually provides a software that is tuned to their product, which is very convenient. To find it, we first go to Google and search for Longer 3D. Once we're at their website, we'll go to 3D printers, then Longer LK5 Pro. Now that we're here, scroll down to near the bottom where they have a list of downloads. Under Slice Software, click Longer Cura 1.3. This will take us to a Google Drive link where we can download the installer. After the installer is downloaded, open the installer and go through the installation process. Okay, once the software completes installation, you can open up the software. Here we go. As I previously mentioned, a lot of the settings that are specific to this 3D printer is taken care of, so we can start printing right away. To find 3D models, I usually go to Thingiverse. They have quite a large selection of 3D models to download. To load a design, click the Load button. And here is Squirtle. You can press and hold the right mouse button to move it around. Notice the bar underneath this USB drive icon. This is the progress of the G-code preparation. While the G-code is being generated, I'd like to point out that Longer included thorough explanations for each of these input fields, which is very helpful to the end user on what exactly they are modifying. This is a very nice feature. Now if you highlight our 3D model, you can also change its size by clicking this pinch icon. For this demonstration, I will reduce the size of Squirtle. And after the size reduction, notice the bar underneath the USB drive resets. The software needs to regenerate the G-code for this model. Okay, once it's done, we can see this print will require about 2.5 hours and approximately 14 grams of material. On the upper right hand corner, you can select different views of the model. The one at the bottom that says layers will also show the support associated with the print. In layers mode, you also get this vertical bar that allows you to see each layer during the print. And as you can see, the inside of the model is hollow 
This is dictated by the fill density parameter. You don't want to have 100% fill as that would just waste material. Notice right now it takes two and a half hours to print. Now if I change the layer height from 0.1 millimeter to 0.2 millimeter, in other words, reducing the resolution, the time required went from two and a half hours to less than 1.5 hours. This will finish the print faster, but also at reduced resolution. And finally, when you are ready, you can click this USB button to export the G-code to the micro SD card included with the printer. Plug in the card and we can start our print. Now as you start the print job, you will notice that initially the printer just sits there and does nothing. This perception is expected as during this time, the printer is heating up the nozzle and the heat pad. As soon as both nozzle and heat pad reaches to their set temperature, the print will begin. As a newbie to 3D printing myself, I was extremely pleased with how easy it is to start 3D printing using the longer LK5 Pro 3D printer. This printer's full metal construction, hassle-free software, and user-friendly interface make this printer an excellent choice for folks who are new to 3D printing. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Ding from Ding's Workshop. See you next time.